houses in some parts of the world. Maybe that should be the American flag as a Judas goat leading a bunch of people. I mean, that's literally, these people are literally scientific predators that study psych warfare and how to rob you and your family. You understand that? They're hardcore. They literally put bug poison in the water and give you sevenfold bone cancer and brain damage. You like brain cancer at age 35? We have folks in the office who have family at 30-something dying of brain cancer. And don't worry, you're going to get yours because the government loves you. Hey, look, they're liberal. There's a bunch of pin-necked women up there with beady eyes telling you how much they love you. And don't worry, they work for Warren Buffett and Bill Gates, and they're going to take real good care of you. So roll up your sleeves and take the vaccines and get ready to start the journey to hell. Excuse me, because Valerie Jarrett said so. You know, what? I, you know, I said I wanted to play this propaganda clip and then go back to the calls. The EPA propaganda. But, but, but first, I want to play Sebelius has no comment after hearing uh, Oklahoma's opposition to Obamacare. And then I want to tie that into Rachel Ray with Biden, making it all about how great his skin looks. See, it's all about trendiness and just getting you in a giggly, happily suspended disbelief, chump mood, the Judas goats. And oh my gosh, Obama's on The Daily Show. He's on Colbert. He's on Sports Center almost every day. He's on all the entertainment shows. Ellen DeGeneres. Oh my gosh, everybody loves it. We ought to be so thankful to you. It works perfectly, Obama. Remember that quote last week? That's a Judas goat. Hey, goats, sheep, come on into this pen. It's really fun in here. They're like standing out on a rock over hot lava. Go on. Well, the jet pack on, they're about to take off. Jump into the red stuff. It feels really good. It's warm. No, no, don't stick your toe in. Jump. And then you jump in the lava, and Valerie Jarrett and Ellen DeGeneres just jet pack out of there on the private jet. Ha, 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 morons. Ah! I mean, you know, it, it's just all scientific hatred of you and your family, period. And it's working great. On the table each and every day. Yeah, but at least at last check, 64% of Oklahomans aren't buying into the health care plan. They don't like Obamacare, and uh, they've been pretty vocal about it. Now, that's going to be a, uh, still continue to be a tough sell, but we'll see how that plays out over the coming months. All right, Secretary Sebelius, thank you so much for being with us this morning. I, I think we've uh, probably lost sound here or something. And then she goes on in the full clip to say, no, no, I can hear you. I'm just not going to respond. I, we had the full clip this morning. It's, it's even better in the full clip when she goes, no, I'm getting your audio. I'm just not responding. Here or something. Well, I can hear you, okay. but I, thanks for having me. You're welcome. <laughs> See, that's, that's the military way. It's all scientific. They do not respond. When you catch them in a lie, they don't respond. When you throw out info they can't counter, they do not respond as if you're not even human to make you feel futile, desperate, and weak. This is how they, they never respond to the hoax, to the fact the Federal Reserve is private, the fact that the IRS is his collection agency. They never respond so you can never have a debate. It's scientific handbook, folks, psych warfare. Now let's go to Rachel Ray worshiping Joe Biden, talking about skin creams in association with uh, the rollout of the health care scam. And I was going to yep. ask you a question, but I got a little nervous because it's a little personal. I have to ask you, though, <laughs> you have the most glowing, perfect skin of any person I've ever seen. It's like a reanimated turd. I really want to know what moisturizer you use. I love moisturizers. My husband is a moisturizer as well. Would you tell me what moisturizer you use? I mean, this is for women to watch and all feel good and go, well, Joe Biden's got moisturizer. And look, I saw Warren Buffett. He was at Dairy Queen again every time you see him with an ice cream cone going raise taxes on rich people. He means the middle class because he gets their money. I mean, it is a total. I have an ice cream cone. Look, I have moisturizer. I'm friendly. I'm not threatening. I come. Look, I'm in the truck, little boy, little girl. I have a puppy. I have candy. Candy, 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 get in, get in, get in, come on, I'm a nice old man, Warren Buffett, we give prizes to good teachers, hello, I'm not creepy or bad, 
I'm not the biggest money launderer in North America. More rich than Carlos Slim. No, I'm not a money launderer narcotics trafficker. I'm Warren Buffett. I'm an old man who just wants to be friends. <laughs> not a black ops commander for 65 years ruling operations. When you need it the most, will your generator, power equipment, or vehicle be ready? Gas and diesel fuels go bad quickly when stored, and more than half of generator failures during disasters occur as a result of expired fuel. PRI fuel stabilizers keep your fuel fresh for when you need it most. Nuclear power stations, emergency service providers, and ships at sea rely on PRI fuel stabilizers. And you can too. Call 888-776-9373 or visit PRIproducts.com to find the dealer nearest you. Did you know Emergency Essentials has a lowest price promise on all of their long-term food storage and emergency supplies this month? While supplies last, save over $250 on the year supply of basics. A year supply of food for only $7.69.99. Get 36% off the Mountain House Gourmet Entrees Combo, 52% off freeze-dried tomatoes, and 57% off freeze-dried shrimp. Call Emergency Essentials at 800-999-1863 or visit BePrepared.com. The choice is clear. Be unprepared or BePrepared.com. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy viruses products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey water filters for the love of clean water. Hi there, my name is Frank Bates. What I'm about to tell you in the next 60 seconds could get me in a lot of trouble. I just created a free video presentation at 123coverup.com that exposes the electricity monopolies and government agencies for what they really are, incompetent, lying crooks that are counting on your ignorance and fear to keep your power bills criminally high. Some have called this a conspiracy. Others have called it a cover-up, and you will be shocked to find out how deep the conspiracy goes. My video at 123coverup.com exposes the truth and shows you the secret of how I beat them and how you can beat them too. Watch the controversial video that thousands of other smart patriots have already seen in the last three months. Go to 123coverup.com and discover one weird trick to slash your power bill and protect your home. Go watch my video now at 123coverup.com before they force me to shut it down. Again, that's 123coverup.com. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formulation fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Going back to your phone calls, we're talking about hoaxes. We're going to talk to Josh and Rage, Tom, William, Anthony. What do you think on this April Fool's about Obamacare and the rest of it? I told you years ago they're going to ban wood stoves and fireplaces. It's now being announced. We're going to talk about that coming up as well. Um, but right now, let's talk to Josh in Kansas. Thanks for holding here on the air. Alex, how are you, man? Good, sir. Thank you. I know. Obamacare, that's that's just the worst one. Uh, well, that was racist. I don't have any proof, but I'm just saying you're racist. 
Well, that, that's fine. Um, I uh, self-employed uh, have been for years. Well, that's and, racist. Yep, and doing my own taxes, and that wasn't working. So I uh, talked to a new tax lady this year, asked if I uh, had medical insurance, and I said, no, I can't afford it. And she said, well, then if you're not going to get it, it's best next year to owe on your taxes. That way they can't come after your money. No, that's right. It's best to pay the 5000 so they don't get penalties and interest. Exactly. But what? you know you, you know how they respond when we talk about the penalty? They just say it doesn't exist and say that Matt Drudge is a liar because he's opted to pay the fine. Right. But I mean, their response to the sun coming up is to say it didn't come up. Again, it is a pathological group of liars. Go ahead. Well, you're absolutely right then, and all the sheep in this country just follow that, believe that's exactly what it is, and they don't listen to reason. You know, and the other hoax, we're, we're up here in a nice rural area, Kent. My daughter, seven years old, first grade this year, and the little school she goes to couldn't be, couldn't be better. I mean, I'm not a, obviously a fan of public schools. Oh, no, the there are schools. fabulous public schools in, in some rural areas. And even in some big cities, they just get the right teachers. They all kind of quietly buck the system. And they rebel and actually do a good job by keeping control of the school and, and by creating a good environment. There are a lot of good public schools. I mean, I've got to admit that. Yeah, absolutely. This one, this one's the best. I mean, in, in your younger grades, you're not allowed to have boyfriends. There's, there's none of that. You're there to learn. You're there to, to be a good student. You don't mess around with any of that kind of stuff. Well, that's so, it. And, and look, they know in psychology, you either keep incredible uh, discipline on them when they're little or they're going to turn into absolute maniacs. What they do is no discipline when they're little, then they act like maniacs later, so you put them all in jail. Right. Absolutely. And and so, again, where, where we live, it is, it's, it's a smaller community. Everybody knows everybody. It's, it's, a whole lot better place to be. I mean, not a whole lot to do around here, but you couldn't ask for... Well, uh, Michael better. Moore says that people are fleeing to the countryside. By the way, I see folks, black, white, Hispanic, running to the countryside and homeschooling because you're racist. Remember he said that, uh, you know, g gun owners are mainly white and they do it because they're racist, which isn't even really true. Uh, the truth is they're freaking out because demographically minorities and women are the fastest growing group buying guns. We just sent, got a bunch of the women in the office to go out and shoot. We've got videos of that coming on the nightly news this week. It's our job to get women out and get them shooting. Because believe me, the real feminist is Annie Oakley, not Gloria Steinem. Great point, sir. Good to hear from you. What do you think the hoax is? Real fast. Obamacare? He dropped off. I think he was saying Obamacare. Okay, I got to move here. I'm just taking too long. Uh, let's talk to Rage in New Mexico. Thanks for holding. You're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, Alex. Thanks for having me. I just wanted to let you know that the entire state of New Mexico is a hoax. I am livid at the police state that we've seen. They've turned our police cars to the DHS requisite black and white. They have, I train with the SWAT team in a large urban area here. I can't say which one. I can tell you that we, there are $200,000 worth of night vision equipment alone. Those guys are equipped better than Fallujah. And they got it all from a DHS grant. Now, we know that DHS favors counties where there's special airborne or drone surveillance, so you can extrapolate what you want from that. This place is so corrupt, it's unbelievable. There's more air, private, unmarked airstrips in the state of New Mexico than anywhere else in the country. We're right in the corridor. Half of the art market was initially funded back in the 70s by people muling coke through this corridor. Oh, of course, and the police all over New Mexico famously turn a blind eye to drugs. But then meanwhile, if they remember the guy they kept in jail for two years, who they pulled over drinking and driving, who was kept in a dungeon, and, and when he was released out of that town, had like a two-foot beard. Remember that story a few years ago? Ab absolutely. And, and this latest shooting is incomprehensible. You're a country boy, and I've heard you talk about it a few times. What happens when you grab it, you find an apple, and it's nasty, and brown and dirty, and you leave it in that bowl of fruit. You come back a couple days later, a couple more pieces of fruit are brown and dirty and nasty, right? You leave it long enough, what happens to the whole bowl? The whole thing goes molding. Right. So that's what we've got here. Some very honorable men. I'm not going to defame any of the members of SWAT, who I've literally called while they're in the middle of helping little old ladies to the hospital. No, I understand that. Stay there. I want, to, I want you to explain leaving bad apples in the bunch. And now the bad apples sit up on top, and their mold just grows down over a pyramid of people. And the public's moldy as well. I mean, the, the public.
and on average, uh, will turn their back on you in a second. And they're drawing police from the public. We'll be right back. We're on the march.